Hi guys! Today it's the 8th of April and we thought we would start daily vlogging because we have been working on the van continuously for a week now and that's because Jordi quit his job on the 1st of April. So it has been one week of full-on working and the van has changed a lot and we're quite happy about that. But we also terminated our rent um, at the end of last month, meaning that we'll have to move out on April 30th. So we have a yeah, an end date, um, a deadline, and it's super exciting, but we thought we would take you guys along and just film whatever we do every single day. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> hope you guys like it. We do. Um, very exciting, and we will try to upload everything um, on the next day, so uh, or on the following day, meaning that this video will be uh, filmed one day before you're watching it. So, yeah. We would like to take you guys along on this journey. If you want to follow us, please do, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's start with the video, yeah? So today we are mainly painting the doors. The doors will be partly covered in paneling, but that will only be on this gap. And the gap there on both um, back doors, and and on this door in the, in the front, we will also have paneling, but only on the bottom. But that means that the doors will have to be painted because they were quite damaged um, from the use over the past 10 years. Uh, so we are covering them in two coats of metal paint. So Jordi is now applying the second layer of paint. It looks quite nice already but it's not completely e even so that's why you're applying a second layer. We're just using a um, metal paint and we're brushing that on rather than using a spray paint that's made for cars. Um, even though that might have a nicer and smoother finish. We wanted to use something that would not um, blow away in the air and since it's quite windy here it would end up everywhere and um, yeah so this is what we went for. Yori already applied the first coat of paint and that took him two hours to cover both the back doors and the side door so we hope that this layer will take a little bit less long because we will have to be outside afterwards for another four hours because we are doing the entire conversion outdoors on, in a parking lot in front of our apartment building meaning that uh, we cannot leave the van alone if a door is left open so because Jordi had to wait for a couple of hours and is going to wait for a couple of hours afterwards as well uh, we had our lunch here, we will have our dinner here in the van as well, which is nice and it's quite warm today. I think it's 22 gr two degrees and that will be around, what, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's amazing to be outdoors, so that's alright. Um, and other than that, he has been working on the ceiling as well. So he has been um, cutting some of the ceiling plates to size and he's drilled some holes for the LEDs. We will have six LEDs two above the kitchen and four above the sofa or above the bed so then we can paint the ceiling over the next few days and install it uh, in a week or so and um yeah mojo is joining us here today in the sun she's just relaxing venus is in her crate because she just had her lunch um, but mojo is enjoying the sun and watching us while we finish the van <laughs> So Jordi has determined where he's going to drill the holes for the LEDs and this sheet of wood will have two of them. So he's first going to drill with a, drill a small hole and then he's going to use a, a saw that is made for 64 millimeters, and that's the exact shape of the lights. So that's the perfect fit. So Jordi has worked on the ceiling and he has made some holes here and there and in one panel as well um, for the LEDs. He's also made a gap for the vent. So we have uh, a max air fan but we also have a vent that will allow for proper airflow. 
And then in this panel, we still need a gap here for the Max Air fan. We will do that tomorrow probably. Um, and in one other panel, we still need a hole for the um, flue for the wood burner. But we can only do that when we know the exact spot for the wood burner. So that will take a while still. We also installed the fan this weekend and we opted for a Max Air fan. And I think we'll upload a video on that soon as well. So just aside from the daily vlogs, but this one, it took us an entire day to install it, but it worked out and it looks quite nice. So Yuri is now working on the final door, which is the sliding door. He's putting on the second coat of paint. So he's nearly done. He should be finished in about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's now time to remove the tape and that's my favorite part. It's 8.30 now, it's still light out, which we love, um, so we can work much more these days. We have finished painting all of the doors, so they look nice and white now. They used to be quite scratchy and they have some dents, so they look much better now. And Jordi finished um, sizing the ceiling, it fits perfectly now and it has some holes for the LEDs, so it's ready to be painted tomorrow. We will apply the first coat tomorrow. Tomorrow we will also paint part of the kitchen frame because that will be visible eventually so we'll have to paint that in the same color as which we will paint most of the other furniture. Then we will install the paneling on the doors so they are completely finished. Um, that has already been oiled and it's uh, perfectly treated now and it has just been waiting indoors to be installed into the van. Tomorrow we also hope that our sealant for the uh, Max Air fan finally arrives because we had a delivery issue and on the day that we were installing the fan we were about to finish uh, sealing the entire fan and when we were halfway through the tube broke and every uh, last bit of sealant dripped out at the bottom so we couldn't use it anymore which is quite a, quite a shame. We had already ordered one but it wasn't delivered so we hope that now four days later it will finally arrive tomorrow. Um, because it's raining uh, the day afterwards so it might be an issue if uh, it doesn't arrive um, and when we finish doing that then we hope there's some time to still work on the insulation for the rest of the, of the ceiling because there's quite a few parts that haven't been done yet and we also have the Z brackets for the solar panels so we can start installing them if we do have uh, still have time um, yeah, that's it for today and um, I, ho I hope you look forward to tomorrow's video, so stay tuned and thanks for watching!